I I did I did my. Oh okay. Yeah. Rutabagas. <laughs> um, oh, to put on your... I like it. I love it. Uh, welcome what are back. We talking about? We're, we're talking about vegetables. If you would be a vegetable kind of it, no, we're not gonna go into that discussion. Not again. Not we're doing a Eggplant. recap. Someone do a what? recap for me. What happened last week? Dragon. Uh. <laughs> dragon. Yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> Pretty much be, dragon. Can't be dragons. The only thing bigger than the dragon that appeared in a world without dragons was the booming personality it contains. Welcome to our mayhem, Joey. That about sums up the entire higher last session, I think. Oh, hi. Yeah. We went to and, the excavation and, and site. We went to excavation site. There was a fallen star, and then, then dragon appeared. Then we got the slab, and now we're with dragon. Slab, hydra, dragon. There we go. Actually, it, went, it, went hydra, it went hydra slab dragon what about hydra oh, oh yeah you were talking about you're you're talking about the hydra and how you get the push the buttons on the hydra egg yeah incubating hydra egg has button pushing fantastic stuff hmm. i still don't know what it is but oh yeah you're with your girlfriend uh yeah it does things and stuff and the hydra can turn if Siegfried wants to, into a different type of Hydra, and, um, uh... It only works once, or else you die. I mean, I was paying attention, I just don't remember anything about button pushing on the egg. I remember y'all talking about the various varieties of Hydra. I don't remember about that either, and I specifically paid attention to that last session. Yeah, so, you can press a button, um... The whole thing is rigged up to a weird and interesting uh, gnomish-like invention with a lot of circles, and you know that it's Archimedes doing because it has a fucking sticky note on it that says you only get one signed Archie. You get one or you die. Was you it, get was one or you die signed yeah. Archie. So I get to push two. No. Uh, and there's, like, uh, little scribbles of, like, sea, desert, um, forest, and it's the types of hydra that he could potentially make the egg become. I remember there being ocean there, too. Yeah. Sea, ocean, same, same thing. How would you have a negative four in a strength check there? What? Didn't you make a mention about, like, a blood hydra at one point? Yeah. Bone. Bone hydra. Well, not blood. Bone. Bone. Yeah. Welcome not, to the bone zone. Not, not blood. That would be absolutely and utterly ridiculous, though I think bone would just become, like, a viscera. Hydra. A combination of... Sinew and bone. Ew. But either way, that's. Uh, I don't like doesn't... that imagery. You're welcome. Uh. Have you seen Val Hasak? It will probably just be, um, not worthy the battle until later on because it still has like a year before the Hydra even hatches. But yeah. I wrote it down. I think it had. I think I. Nine, was seven months, months or something. Nine months. Nine months. I remember you had me like roll a check for this. Yeah. So the incubation period for it is nine months. And. Uh, it is three months in. Oh, so six months. Anything else you guys remember? We got the uh, base plate for the gate. No, it wasn't the base plate. Yes, uh, that was very specific. It was not the base plate. Correct. I don't know why you were you latching onto that. It's a base plate. I do not know. Uh, you guys uh, don't know where the base plate is. It's somewhere. 
That's gross. We also don't know what it said. It. It's got to be somewhere. Uh, yeah, you guys don't know what it says either. No one bothered to look at it. Well, because there was a big fucking dragon. That's more important than reading <laughs> a flight that's still going to be there. I'll be real, it probably looks even worse than that. Uh, probably. Uh, no, it probably looks a little bit like that. But I do want to reward you guys, um, for all the shenanigans, the travel, the, um... Passes of time, the travel, the excellent introduction. Off screen of killed monsters. Joey and the off screen of killing easy little monsters that did try and attack um, your caravan. Um, so for each of you, through meticulous calculations, you will be rewarded 4,800. 4,800. All right, how many bitches level. did that get me? None. None. You don't get bitches. That's said the next 4, level. 4,300? Is that 4,300? 800. 800. 800. Ooh, fancy. Yay, we leveled. We did. We're level 11 now. Can we go ahead and apply our level? Do you care? Go ahead. Next I mean, we're... I'm, I'm away. You guys won't, won't see combat, but... That is fine. Uh, Joey... We're at 87,175, right? Um, let me go ahead and change your yeah yeah we are. XP. What is your guys's XP? Eighty-seven, 87 one seventy-five. Yeah. Eighty-seven, one seventy-five. Okay, I'll let you adjust it. Changes. There you go. Go ahead and reset or uh, refresh your character sheet. Okay. Cool. I, I will. Be with everyone else. Yeah, this Graham Cracker ice cream is fucking the bomb diggity. The bomb.com? Yeah. Excuse me. Mm. Alright. Uh, you guys can go ahead and apply your changes and listen at the same time, right? Yeah. yeah. No, which is why I'm not applying my changes. <laughs> Fair. I only had an ability score modifier. I just gave myself a little bit more intelligence. I need to look if I want to do druid or rogue and all that fun stuff, so... I already have my route planned out. I already know what I'm fucking... I it's don't been three I'm months. Into. I forget. <laughs> That's, Maybe that's, I should multi-class into Artificer. Ooh, that's, mm. a, that's, a, that's a really good idea, Ducky. Uh... Also, what happened to our little goblin friend we, we had with us? It also makes sense because I'm starting to tinker around with the, uh, the crossbow more. Maybe I'll start learning more about that. Oh yeah, the little the goblin little dude. Goblin that you guys keep on forgetting about? I didn't forget about it, you did. The whole time. Uh, you mean the guy, the little goblin that's been hiding in, uh, uh Vice's cart? Uh, that little Miglet's guy. Hey, really? Hey, I come on! Miglet. I said Miglet! You heard it! I, uh, I can play Pokemon! He said it. I said it was a D, you heard it! It was, I was playing Pokemon! Diglet. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What? Anyway, I thought he fine. said Niglet. Uh, yeah. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> he's just clarifying. Confused. It's not offensive I'm if he's clarifying. I am confused. <laughs> Alright, you confused. know what? No matter what, I'm gonna fucking move on from everything that just happened and I'm just gonna tell you guys, shut the fuck up and listen. No. Because the last four days of your guys' travels, um, you start to go ahead and see um, the beautiful, well, the barren landscape before you start to transform into spanning farms and beautiful rolling hills. Kind of like what you would see on the Palouse for the three people that understand that. <laughs> four. Four. It's four. Joey. For the for the four people that would understand that. Yeah, I grew up in the Palouse. 
<laughs> I was about to say, unless you're not counting yourself. No, I wasn't. I was. I was. I forgot. I forgot Joey was up there too. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm pretty forgettable. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're funny. Uh, what is going on? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I am. Don't worry about, about it. it. Uh, <laughs> you see the occasional spots of forest and strategically laid out irrigation systems here. As you get closer to the city, you start to see a beautiful spanning wall. What kind of wall? Can I climb it? No. Hang on, she might have died. Is it climbable? If I was in my dragon form, would I be able to see over it? Bye. I love you. Sorry, what? I, I said if I was in my dragon form, would I be able to see over the wall? Uh, if you went up to the wall, but you guys aren't close enough to the wall. I was just curious for, you know, Kale. for a friend. For Asking reference? For a friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as you get closer to the wall, um, and you notice that the wall is a uh, beautiful cut stone and very professionally done. Uh, the gate. Hello? Stop Hello? that. Who's blowing their nose into their phone? Probably me. Hmm? So I, I was wiping away a hair from my mouth. Oh. <laughs> um. Now I have to go ahead and double check how many fucking Skyro Dama I put with you. I put two or four with you. You can just say four and make it easier. Uh, just, uh, or split the difference and say three. Or you can just uh, say fuck you, just give us another level of XP. No, <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I tried. Uh, the closer that you get, you see that there's a little bit of a line with some polymesis checking cargo and carts. Uh, the four... Skyrodama with you go ahead and grab their papers to make sure that their seals and affairs are in order. And one of them, mm -hmm. oh, thank you, uh, goes ahead and calls Aloran over. Yes. And he says, I know you don't have a permit for that cart that you guys are lugging around. Um, it would have some sort of sigil or seal on it. Uh, I can sign it in as one of the special cargo if you would do me a personal favor. And what would that favor be? I have a letter that I, uh, I need someone, I need it delivered to someone in town. Not official delivery, you understand. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of it. Hmm? I presume. It goes to uh sorry. Uh he hands you the letter and it says I don't want anyone knowing about this, but it goes to a lady. Uh yeah. she's Do in a tavern details? and he writes on a piece of paper. Um, the pretty lady. <laughs> what the fuck? Could you guys stop? It is heard in the recording, you know that, right? Uh, her name is Lady Midnight. She is a dark elf. Uh, she's on the dock side. In a tavern. What? 
Shut up. Alrighty. Stop it. What? Um, the yeah. tavern's name is... God, these are insufferable. Uh, these are fucking distracting me. I think I'm going to book <laughs> out now. What is happening? Are you okay, bestie? No! I am concerned. I am a tad bit as well. I'm pretty you okay there? <sighs> it's a tavern called Sun's Fury. And I, I hope we don't piss off Dad. To handle this alone. You can take your friends with you. It's not necessarily under anyone's jurisdiction. It's actually run by some pirates. A special pirate in particular. Uh, he's quite well, no, well known here in Journey's End, so you won't really find any trouble with him. And his wife owns the tavern itself. His name? Yajargo. Hmm. Quite a Alrighty. reputable lad. Though he hasn't been back in... Well, I guess he's due back in probably a few weeks. Well, I'll take care of it for you. Appreciate it. Of course. You're helping us with the cart. Um, so you get through, uh, you get to the front of the line. Uh, the, uh, the driver goes ahead and hands them the, uh, you know, the checker, the papers and everything. They make sure that everything is fine. Um, they don't check your cart, but they check the other two carts. Um... And you get through just perfectly fine. And as you get through, you see the beautiful sprawling city. This portion of the city uh, is lined uh, with warehouses and is pristine and beautifully built. This is the best work at the Skyrodama. But when you look a little bit closer down the wall, you can see that the inside of the wall isn't quite done. Well, that's probably why they needed the building supplies. Uh, you notice that the gate is a fine hard wood with metal rings to keep it sturdy and well maintained. Uh, Aloran's seal also allows you guys to get into the city with absolutely no issue. Uh, and around you are also some pop-up stalls and stands with the large warehouses, of course, to the sides, with some off streets and sideways going through the street, going through the city. Um, you go ahead and see large seals on the warehouses to kind of signify um, the different guilds displaying on them. You are led through the main streets and what you can assume is a Skyrodama warehouse. It resembles the same seal as what you've been working with. And the gate, the group approaches the gates where a foreman greets you all with a clipboard in hand. Exciting. Hello. Is it not the gate you're looking for? <laughs> he talks to his two drivers exchanging paperwork um, when a falconeer uh, runs up to uh, uh, the foreman and uh, the foreman looks at the little package the tiny box in his hand and he goes ahead and points to the group your group mm -hmm. small package small package <laughs> 
Um, the falconer looks over to the group and he calls over, jogging, and he says, Allure and Atal. <laughs> Shut up. He says, Allure and At Altarian. Altarian, I have a parcel for you, sir. Oh? He jogs over and... with a tiny box and a parchment <laughs> in his hand. And he says, I was told that you would be arriving today. I didn't expect you to be here so early. I guess I didn't either. He goes ahead and grabs a piece of paper and a little stone container. He opens the stone container and what looks to be an ink pad. And he says, I just need you to go ahead and stamp here, please. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and do that. But you're not gonna read it, but okay. What am I reading? It's just, uh, it's just to show that I'm picking up the package, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is there a contract? It's just, yeah, it's literally just saying that the I have delivered. I am the, under the water. I have delivered the parcel to. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have delivered parcel to responsible party. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. Uh you go ahead and stamp it. He goes ahead and puts the tiny piece of paper into one of his other numerous satchels and he hands you the tiny box wrapped in parchment. Um he puts the stone cover over his little ink pod and puts it in a, into his pocket and he just goes jogging right off okay the, well, I guess I'm gonna open the parcel uh, you open the parcel it is as described a tiny wooden box um, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily too tiny it's probably about 5 inches by 5 inches um, okay, that's about average size <laughs> Um, you open it up, it has a little letter in it, it has a stamp in it, um, and it, the letter is not addressed to you. It's addressed to Vice. Interesting. Yo, Vice, there's a letter in here for you. For some reason. Why did they deliver it to me if it's for you? What? Uh, who knows what these knuckleheads? <laughs> I'll grab the letter. Uh... Uh... Uh, I am writing a letter to you. It is encrypted. Ow? Yes, now. I did not have this prepared, though, so sorry. What, give me a few minutes while I write this letter to you. <laughs> it is encrypted, though, so it is in a cipher that you don't know. It is similar to the cipher that you guys have used in the past, but it is not exact. Is it the color wheel? No. Oh, good lord. Fuck off. No. <laughs> it would be simple if it's that. You just hand it to a lawman then. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I'd rather kill myself. Literally just a picture of a bunch of wires. Arrangements <laughs> can be made. None of y'all want me to kill myself. That'd be a big problem for all of you. Yeah, I'd probably Great. release the demon inside and we'd have to kill it. I guess we'd also miss you too. Oh, on the other no, hand, I'm there'll be a whole the bundle demon. of free goodies on the no, ground. I'm talking about the demon. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, there'll be a whole bundle of free goodies on the ground for us to take. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> 
fucking Jesus Christ. On the other hand, there'd be a whole bundle of... There'd be a whole bundle of Aloran. So how would we split Aloran stuff up, like... Oh, good lord, are we... No, mm -mm. <laughs> we're not having this conversation. Important to write a will. I hate that you're right, but you write. Huh? All right, you were given that, and there is in the box as well um, a seal similar to a Lauren's, but different. It different is now. unique in that when you look around, not similar to any of the ones shown on any of the warehouses. Our God. Interesting. This guy is working for what's from. Uh, you, will, you, you will have to take time to decipher it so you don't know what it says at this current moment. That being said, the foreman goes ahead and walks over to Aloran um, with his handy dandy clipboard. Um, and uh, he goes ahead hands you the paper that was originally signed um, and he says thank you for escorting uh, the cargo here Monster Hunter unfortunately I cannot pay you here so you will have to go ahead and go to the Skyradama building um, further in town so that way they can pay you out here is the original paper I'm sure they'll give you absolutely no trouble just show them your seal and everything like that yeah, got it. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Yes, of course. Enjoy your stay. I'll try. And with that, the city is yours and, to explore. And can I can I act you can I act you something? Me as the DM or him as this foreman? No, you. Me, okay. Uh you used to mention stalls, right? Yeah. Did that happen to be fish at those stalls? No. Yeah. Uh, this is an entry point. So here there would be a lot of traveler things. So people coming in, um, needing food, water, um, uh, clothing, stuff like that. Or people, since this is an entry gate, it would be things feed for your animals, um, things like that. So further in. If you want fish, you go into docks. The city is a little bit windy willy. Um, the further really. uh, windy and turny. So the further in that you go, um, the more quote unquote downtown that you'll see. There is uh, um, closer to the docks a large hill um, that leads up to a beautiful cliffside that you see that also um, has a gigantic and beautiful building. I don't know why I just peeled that off. Can I stick it back on? Yes, I can. Um, but in general, this, this main throwaway should lead you, theoretically, to the um, uh, main plaza. Did, on the paperwork that we were given back, did he have a signature on there saying received in full? No, because you didn't receive your money. Yeah, not yet. No, I was sick, but did he make mention that he had received the goods? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he filled out his part of it. So all that needs to be done is taken to the Skyrodama, uh guild house. So that way you guys can receive your payment, which was agreed upon 500 gold. Yep, sounds good. I just wanted to make sure. Um, Avroth, can you do me a perception check? To see who's noticed? Let's yes. see, I have advantage on this. Because of my cloak. There's the second one. 
Uh, 14. <laughs> You're getting a lot of weird stares. And a lot of hushed whispers are happening. Uh, Do I notice this? Uh, would you... A perception check would tell you. I mean, or my passive. What is your passive? 23. Uh, yeah, you notice. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely notice. So, I want to do something. Yeah. So, presumably, there's, like, some little kids pointing and staring, right? Oh, yeah. There's even All right, I wanna people pointing and staring. Morph. I, I want to morph into a similar but slightly different in feature version of what Avroth looks like. Like, if I were a dragonborn, and, and stare back at them with giant eyes and go... Roar! Oh, oh my god. No. Why? What are you doing? I don't want to roar. I want to say roar. What is the point of this? The point of this Very is they staring, and I'm trying to make it seem normal by that the fact that there's, there's a second one. He doesn't like being stared at. I think... I think the difference is that they live on a continent where lizard folk are normal. Let, let me put this into perspective. Lizard folk. There are lizard folk here. Yeah, yeah. They're yes. all lizard there folk. are Desert, actual yeah, lizard yeah. folk. And I'm not trying to pretend we're lizard folk. But... Uh, you look if they see people. someone shift into this form, it makes them think maybe it's also just an illusion. Uh, okay. That's the that. point. I would, I would assume that they look at they they look at him like a like a dog would look at a wolf, like a domestic dog would look at a wolf, like they can tell that something's off, right? Yeah. There's a difference between seeing you do it and seeing him walk do it. <laughs> well, I tried something. <laughs> I'm just going to pretty much shrug and continue along, like, eh, whatever. I'll get over it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're not attacking us, so... I think this is the first sign of a good thing. Um, and now that you guys have been essentially set loose into the city, I would request that you guys stay together as a group. But, uh... Be free in the beautiful city of Journey's End. What okay, is your? Well, I think we should handle our first two major tasks, which is getting paid and dropping off the letter. Mm -hmm. Question. Answer. Avroth wasn't a part of the original escort mission, so how does he know about it? And is he expecting to get paid? Oh, hell no. are, are they expecting to pay him? Uh, he was not a part of the original payment. The payment goes to Aloran. Everyone in Aloran's part... So, so the way that it goes is anybody that escorts Aloran in his hunting party, because Aloran is the leader of the hunting party, gets paid through Aloran. However, Aloran decides to divvy that up is up to him. Okay. It is not up to uh, each individual person. If each and in, in, every individual person was a hunter and provided their seal, then each individual person would be paid fairly through the guild. But because none of the rest of you are guild members, they are not responsible for paying you. Okay, I understand now. Thank you for clarifying that. Not trying to stiff you, Joey. Just wanted to understand stuff. There are multiple guilds, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are indeed. There are a lot of guilds. There are a, specifically in Mazizoi. There are oodles and boodles of guilds. Ha, uh, most of them fall under the umbrella of guilds under the Mazizoi. Some of them don't. Um, but they try very hard to make sure that most of them fall within the different categories. 
Um, the Adventurers Guild and the Monster Hunters Guild are the only two guilds that do not and cannot fall within the umbrella because they work worldwide with the help of the college. I didn't know the college helped Monster Hunter Guild. That's awkward. It's not that they help. It's that if there was a request, uh, if there was a calamitous request or like a continental threatening request the that the college needed help with, either the Adventurers Guild or the Monster Hunters Guild, uh, would step up to help. Got it, got it. And in turn, uh, the college provides them with their, with either resources or help. Okay. So it's, it's a both a give and take system that helps the Monster Hunter Guild and the Adventurers Guild be worldwide. Got it. Any other questions? Nope. What is your first stop? Probably get paid? Probably get paid. Alright. Yeah, money. So, bread, let's get that fucking bread. So you go to the Skyrozama building. It is a beautiful cut stone building with uh, intricate glass windows. Glass and uh, iron windows. You enter through the doors, and before you is a very peaceful set library slash um, uh, reception area. Uh, you see uh, receptionists going ahead and taking all of uh, the requests and orders um, that have been through and categorizing them um, meticulously. They see your lot come in and uh, a Leonin goes ahead and steps up to the counter and she says, hello, are you dropping off, picking up, receiving, sorry, uh, receiving, sending, picking up, or dropping off? Uh, we're here to receive. Receive payment? Delightful. Mm -hmm. Can I have your papers, please? Where are you trying to go? She goes ahead and takes the paper. She looks it over meticulously. Um, and she says, can I have your seal, please? There you go. Er, which one should I hand her? Mine? My original one? Or the one I just got? Uh... I guess my original one. Yeah, probably my original one. <laughs> what? You okay? So you hand her the original one. Uh huh. You okay? Why? She takes it and she looks at it and she compares them and she says, "Delightful." Here you go. She takes out an ink pen and she goes ahead and scribbles on it, and then she stamps on it and she basically puts it in a bin full of other fucking papers, and she says. Give me a minute, please. So she goes to the back as she goes up a flight of stairs. And she comes back about five minutes later with a gigantic sack of jingling coins. And she sets it on the table and she says, 500 gold coins as promised. Thank you. Thank you for doing business with us. I hope you have a blessed day. Yeah, me too. What an asshole. <laughs> well, that's one thing done off your list. That's one thing done off our list. Now um, we have a million bajillion dollars. So there's four of us? Five, Five of us. Hopers. Five of us. So each of us gets a hundred. There's six of you. Well, he showed up at the tail end of our journey. He doesn't get any. Screw that. <laughs> he doesn't have anything. That's his problem, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody wants to share their gold with him, that's their prerogative, not mine. 
Wow. Well, Lauren Fortnite dances and runs away with all the gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, rude. I'm divvying it up 100 to each of the party members that were with us whenever we took on this contract. If somebody wants to share their pro- their part with them, that's y'all's. That's y'all. That's on you. And Vice is very greedy. Vice is very Hey, Avaroth. Yes? Well, Lauren's already iffy about the whole, like, weird dragon. What would you do for a hundred gold? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can make it sound less suggestive. Starts to undo belt. <laughs> what? God, no! Ew! No, 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 no. So you really are a dragon fucker. I always knew it. I am not a scaly, thank you very much. Um, anyway, no, no, god no, you're- I'm the alchemist! What do you think I want? Eh, uh, what do you want dragon, that for? Dragon, dragon tea? Semen. Uh. Dragon scales. <laughs> oh Are god, you? no, don't sing that, get out. What? <laughs> No one would get the reference except you, babe. Don't sing it, please. I'm trying to remember where that's from. What, are you talking about Dragon Tales? The, the no, show? no. Dragon no, no, Tales, no. Dragon. No, it's fucking from Pink's well, Dragon. for Dragon. Well, as long as it's not Dragon Car. Yeah, no, oh, no, 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 Pete, Dragon Car. Uh, okay, I, I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the it. Original, I have to look it up. Original Peace Dragon, where they're fucking talking about what they can do with the dragon parts. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember the word. I, I hate that song because it's so. Uh. <laughs> Makes me sad. A magic drag lives by the sea. What? Dragons on motorcycles! Okay, continue on. What do you want him to do for 100 gold? I want unrestricted access to non harmful amounts of, uh, well, magical dragon farts. Did you just say dragon farts? Oh, there farts. we go. Fart. Literally farts in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon whiskers, dragon toes, no, a dragon out. tooth, and the dragon nose. Every little piece, every little piece. We. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> what? You didn't nerd. I don't want to hear it. I still heard it, but I don't want to hear it. Uh, God, I'd have to look that up to actually remember. It's been forever. It used to be my brother's favorite movie. Uh, I could take a scissor and clip him up, Stop! rip him up. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! Um, basically, I want to learn about dragons, and I want him to be my assistant in this, since he is a dragon. A dragon. I mean, that's fine. Or... I'll, I'll happily help you in that regard. And not to mention, hey, Nessa. What? Do I shed? Mm. Or do I molt, I should say. Technically. The thing is, I am a lizard. Technically, yes, you do. Perfect. But yes, I would be happy to help you in that endeavor. Excellent. I wonder what sort... I wonder... I wonder if I could find a way, like, the right kind of food to make your flame stronger or something. That would be cool. I don't breathe flames. I breathe acid. Okay, fine. Breathe acid. Whatever. <laughs> this is a shock to everyone, because everyone thought that dragons breathe flames, only to find out that dragons breathe acid. I mean, doesn't that hurt? And by the way, are we having this conversation in the middle of the? Uh... Yes. No, oh, you guys yes. are in the middle of town. I am. I am looking at my dragon poster where it says there are two acid glands located inside the mouth on either side of the tongue. And also, it says don't bother trying to chop at the horns, and they have tail barbs. Hmm. What is happening? 
I'm still stuck on the song. <sighs> Sorry, uh, you breathe acid. Doesn't that we, fucking hurt? We've I'm immune to acid, so no. Haven't we encountered other things that eat acid? Yeah, eat acid? Not humanoid. Well, was he humanoid earlier? I think I thought, I don't fucking know this. There you go. Dragon liver can cure cold. Adam, dragon shut the fuck up. With dragon blood, you'll never grow old. Most so. creatures don't <laughs> breathe. Acid. I just imagine Siegfried fucking singing this obscure ass song. Yeah, he's singing. <laughs> That's what's going on. As far as Aloran is aware, there's no creatures that breathe acid. They secrete it from glands. The, so to say is... that you breathe acid is fucking insane. This is correct. There are no uh, creatures that I can think of. Yeah. Dragging cartilage keeps you thin. Would you stop now? I'm done. <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, I'm never done. Removed from server. Now, Lauren explains this. Still Axel. sings in the other room. Yes, but as was established, he is literally not from this world. Still. Still. He should still, like, apply to the same general biology of things. Why? Ooh, I wonder if there's an acid hydra. Siegfried say this out loud? Yeah. Lauren <laughs> glares at him. <laughs> I wonder if there is an acid hydra. You know uh... what? Vice... Let's just deliver this letter. Let's just deliver this letter. Vice, did you uh, decipher that uh that letter yet? I don't know. You tell me. How long should it take? Um, I don't know. Roll me a. Uh, what the fuck uh -huh. would you roll to decipher it? Oh. Investigation. Investigation. Roll me an investigation check. 16. Yeah, you decipher it. Hey, Paul. Mm hmm Did you give me 100 gold? Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's been a business doing pleasure with you. Been Whatever a business you doing pleasure with you. you know. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> been a business doing pleasure with been you. Been a business doing pleasure with you. Uh, yeah, that's, you heard. Did he fucking stutter? Did he? Shall we deliver the letter like was requested of us? Nah, fuck Yes, sure. we shall deliver the letter which was requested of you. Oh, man, I'm gonna deliver I'm gonna do it by myself. Paper, so. I don't care. I'll go do it by myself. That's no, fine. Want... No, I'm going with you. If you want to see what happens. I can do it. Dragons! Oh my god. By the way, can I look at the new seal I got and try to roll something to, like... It's not a symbol I've ever seen before, right? No. Like, in all my time in the guild places, can I roll to see if there's anything I recognize about it? Uh, investigation? Investigation? Okay. I have advantage. Would a 23 do? No. No? You've never really? seen this before. Never once seen anything like this before. Hey, Ada. What? Do I happen to to see it? See the the seal on the. the... Yep. Uh. Passive, right? I mean, if a Lauren lets you look at it. A Lauren, are you gonna pass the seal around? No, it was addressed to me. Okay. I don't know what this what is. If I, what if I stole it? We'd have to know. You'd have to know he has it first. Uh. What if I was looking for money and found it instead? <laughs> We're not allowed to steal from each other. Remember. <laughs> I'll allow it if you can get the if you can pass the sleight of hand against. What if I? Perception. What if I was looking for the extra hundred gold and <laughs> that's what I found? I'll allow it if you can get the sleight of hand against oh my, my perception. God. Um, everyone, 
I'll so, do it. So I think everyone knows that you have the seal. Yeah. I'm still going to do it. Because I think everyone watched you open the box. All right, yeah. I got a five. Uh, uh no, you don't <laughs> fucking take shit. Well, all. Let's do what I get for perception. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the Lord immediately notices it. <laughs> the, Lord, the Lord sees it, snatches Ice's hand, and where are you sticking that? Up your rear end, where you think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Keep your fingers to yourself or they're gonna go up yours. <laughs> nice. Did you read the letter yet? Yeah, I read the letter. Jesus Christ, okay, kill me. Anyways, what do you want, do you want why me to do pass you always it on to... get so other, many freaking letters? Like, other people don't need to know this stuff yet. I want to progress the plot! What, what What do you expect me to do with this information to pr progress the plot? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Pr just fucking deliver the letter already. Yeah. Okay, let's deliver the fucking letter. Alright, you go down to the docks. This is the more seedier area of uh the town obviously it's it's less maintained uh and uh you you see a bunch of chips of all kinds you go through uh some more chips yes delicious chips 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 chips, chips. 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 fish there are some fishing stalls fish sick free runs off in the frantic Fish and chips? Fish and chips? You guys should not be separated. Stop you getting distracted. You guys should not get <laughs> separated. But fish! You guys should not get separated. I am on a task. I'm just I, gonna... I'm just gonna... I, I have... I'm examining... Um, uh... Joey's characters. I'm looking. Up I'm names. following behind a Lauren, listening, uh, following the 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 jingle of gold coins in his pocket. Oh my god! I'm uh, dragging Avaloth on by, along by a claw that I'm looking at and examining as I uh, blindly half follow uh, a Lauren. Bitch. I am obliging. I presume the Lord knows his way around this town, actually, right? Because he's been in the Northern Barrens a few times. Yeah. Is there anything preventing magic in the area? Preventing magic? And magic effects? No. Alright, well, I'm going to follow along behind the group. Invisible. Head off to the side. Of course. Say hello to our resident rogue. My character is just babbling on about color theory, which, I mean, I'm not actually going to bother with because, let's be honest, no one here cares. I care. So is anyone stopping Siegfried from running off and doing whatever with or not? Siegfried do what Siegfried want. I don't know. No, care. Siegfried go do. Oh, fuck. Alright, Siegfried's this, lost. This, this is what happens. Hold on. Hold on. I did my part to keep the party together. Adam. I I don't think you uh, did. Adam. No one is. What? Roll me a d20. Okay. Do we need to make like a magical leash for Siegfried? Yes. Probably. Just, people just need to like be able to like realize he's going to do that stuff and just like be willing to stop oh, no, him. Oh no, Lauren knows he's going to do it. He just yeah, but also be him. willing to stop him. Yeah, that's the part that I... I got a five. That makes too much sense. You? You're fucked. Ooh, ooh. What? So he found himself a brothel then? <laughs> <laughs> Should it, would okay. Siegfried even know what to do with one of those? What do I do first? <laughs> do I tell you guys where he went, or do I do you guys? Do I do your guys' adventure first? Do I? I... I'm gonna do your guys' adventure first, and then I'm we're, gonna tell you how fucked he is. We're just delivering a letter. It's okay, so you go to um this tav this tavern in the corner. Um, for right now, it's a, it's quiet. It is kind of the middle of the day. Um, and you see a whole bunch of uh, Leon and barmaids cleaning up and getting ready uh, for the night. And you see a 
gigantic Leonin woman. She is a barbarian of women. Uh, strong, tough, with a clipboard, ordering people around, and getting shit ready. Um, I'm going to nod in approval. Uh, she a, sees mommy. you guys walk in, and <laughs> she grunts and she goes, You know we aren't open yet, right? Wait, do I know her? Do I know her? Roll me a history check. Can I ask for uppies? <laughs> the real question is... The real question is, do I know her? Uh... Okay, 17. We, and my character's gonna suddenly look and go, wait, we're carrying the cart with us, right? That's Vice's job. Oh my. Is, is uh, Vice okay. carrying the cart with him? I mean, I, I would assume so, unless there was a place to park it. I, I want to. I oh, want to go check to make cargo on it. I don't think I would leave it alone. Yeah, that's that's just what I was thinking. I want to check to make oh, sure yeah, we no, still I'll, have our precious cargo. That we still have our little kid. Uh, so yeah, Alora and Bren, been... you both recognize her. Um, Bren, <laughs> you your last visit was a punch to the face, <laughs> personally from her. Uh, Aloran. Yours was a yeet out the door, personally, from her. What did I do? You don't remember. <laughs> Interesting. Do I remember her name? Fuck. Do I remember her name? That's a good question. It's Taronk. Taronka Badonka Donk. God, I wish Arnold were here for this. It would be hilarious. <laughs> Uppies! <laughs> Where's your jar go? Is it full of dirt? I go jar <laughs> Jargo. Jargo? There we go. Hold Unchained? On. Uh, no, sorry. I have to actually look at his thing. I thought it was a her. Uh, so his, uh, her husband is your Jargo. The pirate hero. Jargo space. The pirate hero of Journey's End. I have to, uh, uh, Zanar. Zanar is her name? Yeah. Hey, Zanar. A long time no see. Uh, if it isn't the little one. The elf boy. Is that you? Punch face. Did she call me a hunch face? No, she uh, is looking at another par <laughs> person in your party. I thought he was invisible. <laughs> <laughs> so did he. So did he. <laughs> uh... I don't know who you're talking to. Um, look, not here to cause trouble. Not here to cause problems. Just dropping something off. I will be out of your hair. Ah, nonsense. Stay for a cup. Okay. I see you brought friends. Sit. Tell me your stories. Last time I saw you, you were even smaller. Wait, he's gonna get bigger? All elves do. I'm young by elf standards. Nah, it's just gonna get wider hips. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> uh, you still that is still technically bigger. All this monster hunting is going straight to his thighs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking all those shark steaks. <laughs> yeah, Aloran just looks at him and says, Yeah, I'm pretty young by elf standards. I'd like to say that as well. All. <laughs> Vice actually says that. 
all that monster hunting is going to his thighs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Come, come, park your cart out back. I promise. One of my kin will guard it. Uh, I wanted to get the Giblin to come with us out of the cart. He doesn't need to be in the cart. He's just a kid. He, he doesn't, doesn't need to be. He cart. doesn't need to be in the bar either. But he doesn't need to be alone. Can I do an insight check? Uh, on what? On who? Just on her to see if she's truthful about having somebody guard it. Uh, sure. Well, I rolled on that one. So. Uh, yeah. I mean. Her word is as true as uh the the height of her. I'll roll an insight as well. Which is large. I can find insight. She's almost considered a large creature at this point. I got a twenty. Yes. Uh yeah. you know for a fact that she definitely has an entire group. I mean Yajargo and her have an entire group crew of fucking pirates that not only protect the tavern but protect the dock that they own. Thanks a lot. I kind of figured as such Leon and are pretty proud people. They protect their own. Yes. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll sit down and have it. Uh... She sits down with you all, and uh, some of the bar the barmaids bring out some drinks for you guys, and and she says, "This season's ale is seasoned with strawberry." His name's That's Radical Raspberry ale. now. <laughs> Come, punch man, sit with us. Punch. Mm. One punch man. Stop your shenanigan. I know you can see. I see. Oh, she's talking to the rogue. Okay. I guess I'll just spell it and sit down. You tried that <laughs> last time, too. I take it it didn't go so well last time. Zanir punched him in face. Sounds like you got it worse than I did. <laughs> you came in bragging. Think you could beat <laughs> up Bouncer. So I threw you out. Yeah, that sounds like me about 20 years ago. So, tell me of your trips. What brings you all the way back? Uh, that's a long story. Mm. Come now. I see you have new friends. Who are friends? Well, friends are people that you hang out with. If you're Short not one. careful, I will throw you. <laughs> <laughs> Short, snarky one is vice. The uh, monkey man, that's Axel. Hey, yo. What? You said my name, so I said, hey, yo. Oh, I thought you said you. Uh, pa oh. Oh, yeah, he isn't here. Um, and. Wait a minute. <laughs> How did we lose him? How did we lose something that big? I don't know. <laughs> it's sick. Runs off any time. It's a chance. <laughs> did you guys just realize the server is not there? No, I wouldn't <laughs> realize that. Oh, he just like... forgot about it. He he ran off to find some fish. And... Some friends. <laughs> in in the distance, you hear fish. A very uh -huh. interesting looking. Lizard I just grown is sorry. What was your name again? Abroth. Yeah, Abroth. She stands up, and she eyes Abroth, and she goes, "Come here." I'll I'll look at her, be like, "Okay," and I'll walk up to her. 
But she she like bumps up to you and goes sturdy. And she's just like glaring at you. She's glaring at me and calls me dirty? No, sturdy. sturdy. Oh, sturdy. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's dirty too after that crash landing. And I'll be like, well, I... Hey, would you look at that? Looks like she I do take pride in my strength. I like him. Yeah, I'm still on the fence. If you kill him... I will kill you, Tiny. I'm a monster hunter, not a lizard fold hunter. There's no lizard. I'm aware. I'm gonna kinda glare at you as you're calling me a lizard. Not lizard. My lord's just calling him a lizard fold because it's easier to explain than saying it's a dragonborn or whatever. She yeah, puts... that doesn't mean that Abroth likes being called a lizard. <laughs> she puts both of her hands very sturdily on Abroth's shoulders and she goes, You're very good. I'm very good at what? Yes. What? Yes. Yes. She's just calling you good in general. Take the compliment. Oh. Uh, thank you. Common is not my first language. Neither is it mine. And I'll, <laughs> I'll reply with, neither is mine. Hmm. If I you... speak draconic. What? what, what? Say what? What is dragon conic? It's not dragon dragons, conic. presumably. Draconic. It's the tongue of dragons, presumably. Hm. You are funny. Dragons, no. I'm not kidding. You know. I boast a lot, but I don't lie. I know Tiny no lie, but dragons know. Dragons it's dragon. I, I'm going to say the Tiny one is telling the truth in Draconic. He's no dragon. He's just dragonborn. Apparently his parents were dragon fuckers. <laughs> well, the closest thing we got to dragons in this world, so... Dragon? Dragons come back? Don't tell lizard folk. Mm, yeah. Very, very, they'd be very unhappy to hear about that. Well, maybe a... they would They would lose Look their that. position as closest to the dragons. Yeah, some they of them might be kidnap. excited about it. You should disguise him. <sighs> Walking around as a beacon of hope. You're right. Would come. Hey, hey, Azroth, can you can you lean down here for a sec? I want to see your ear. I, I'm going to walk over to you and kind of lean down. Do you mind? And I'm going to take out my earring and say, "Do you mind if I poke you with this?" Uh, if you must. I put it in his ear. While they're while they're talking, I kill that. You have yours. Tail, and I. <laughs> You're just like, yeah. So, uh, my character no longer looks like Monkey Man. He looks like a very nondescript human now. Ah. Uh... Interesting. Uh, hey. and when I put that in, um, hang on, let me find the inventory for it, and I will send you the stats for it, Joey. Sounds good. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Uh... Uh, you're right with that? Axel, I know you don't like being really, you know... Shut honest. up. I... At least in it. town, I recommend. Mokai will come. 
Mokai. Google them. Mokai. Wait, what are the Mokai again? Uh, they are the quote unquote honored descendants. Uh, I have not mentioned them until now. Uh, oh, exciting. Uh, but and this is the first of, of you guys technically hearing about them. The Mokai are the the people, the the lizard folk that the uh, cultists uh, turned to their side. They were a small uh -huh. gathering. They have been an issue for a long time, and they they claim that they are the rightful descendants of the dragons. Well, the Mokai can go fuck themselves. Uh, I mean, they probably do, considering that they're trying to keep the purity. The That's not what I meant. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she sits back down and she goes, They have been problem. Broke down original wall. We rebuilt Skyradama best here. But they have been troublesome. They've been bothering the city a bunch? Absolutely. Uh, I have a bone to pick with them, too. Mm. They gather more forces. Say, Great Io will bless. I think I already sent a solution. Joey, what do you use the earring to look like? <laughs> I'm still working on it. It appears that it can make me have various monkey features. Uh, also, any humanoid. Make you look humanoid, yeah. Any, that's, read, the, read the last bit. That was the original thing, and then more was added to it. So you can look like any humanoid. It's how I made myself look like you earlier. Gotcha. Yes, it is made to look like anybody. Have I seen anything. some of the? Have I seen some of the lizard men walking around? Yes, you have I'll indeed. Just, yeah, I'll just turn myself into looking like a uh, like lizard men. Pretty much keep my color and everything like that. I will and want my height, to... like my size, but I'll just look like a lizard man. Ooh, my my character stares you dead in the eye after you've done this. And says, "I will want that back." Oh. That's fine. And she goes, much better. I don't better. predict this uh, appearance anyway. At least in city or in towns. You uh, want to wear my mask, Axel? Nah, it's fine. I'm glad I got it's... to see you. And new friends. Mm. Punch Man, how's wife? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Look, this isn't the first time his wife has been brought up in front of us, is it? No, this is not. It's not. Won't be the last, but it won't be the last. <laughs> Lauren just kind of looks at Brent. Can't get shut down every time. Yeah, I also wonder. Why you no talk? Hmm. Oh, not in the mood. He's not after that too dark. either. He's dark and brooding. Uh, she'll kind of like pat you very hard on the back, and she goes, <coughs> "Always impatient, impatient, Oops. impudent." She... I learned a new word. Who is she doing this to? Bren. Bren. Uh, sorry to ask, can I get another glass of ale? Of course. Uh, she calls one of the girls over and she refills your cup. He kills it on the spot. <laughs> it's good ale. <laughs> she smiles and she says, I glad you like. We had good harvest. Hmm. Your Jargo should be coming back in three weeks. You stay? Mm, that depends. We'll see. 
I'm just going to slowly sip and nurse a single drink and not fully finish it. Hey, you going to finish that? My <laughs> <laughs> slides his glass over to Lauren. I I snag it and drink it myself. No, no, I try to snag it first. <laughs> is this uh, a slider hand? Is this, is this a a dex versus dex? Check? I think this is a dex versus dex. A dex versus dex check? Who's yeah. drinking it first? All right, let's go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> no, you go to grab it, and Lord's like, no. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna face fall. I'm gonna put my head all swollen like on the table, and then just raise my hand to flag over some more. <laughs> I'm going to just be sitting. Not only on does the he scale. snatch it up, he snatches it up and chugs the entire thing before you even realized it happened. <laughs> Then she's so now I was gonna look at you. She's gonna be like, "Don't you do it now?" Me? Last time, you got drunk. I had to throw you out. Well, I'm I'm a little bit more mature. Is are you? I remember a certain festival that you got drunk and woke up. With some other random people you don't recognize, remember? <laughs> Hell, she says, how do you know about that? What? <laughs> Wait, what? When did this happen? I know about that. I have it written down in the sacred book of the DM. Yeah, but how does Bren know about that? Uh, Bren doesn't know about that. Why wouldn't he know about the? Oh, all things, all things considered, he does Cause... know about it. Why? Wait, what? Because uh, he was there when he woke up. What? <laughs> oh! Huh? Ah! Anyways. My character is like, wait, what? Orgy? No. Why did no one. Uh, no, D don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, she says, I would love to sit chat more. But I have work before tonight. You guys stay as long as want. Don't drink all my ale. No promises. I'm just gonna give her a gold coin and say, as much as that will buy. Mm. One pitcher. Beautiful. Gimme. <laughs> she, <yeah. laughs> uh, she goes to the back grabs a pitcher and slams it down in front of you and she says, enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy that. And uh, <clears throat> she goes back into the kitchen. Alrighty, now for what we're actually here to do. You didn't think to ask her? Oh, yeah. I didn't. Well, I, it's kind of like confidential, isn't it? You can at least ask her where she is. Oh, by the way, uh, someone named Miss Midnight here? She looks back from the kitchen and he goes, Yeah, upstairs, in her room. Uh, room... Seven. Thanks. Alrighty. We shall go, we shall go deliver the letter. Are you all gonna go, or is it just you? Uh, do do, do y'all wanna go? Or do y'all just wanna hang out? I'll go deliver the letter if y'all want. I'll come with ya. I'm interested. The two drunk lads. <laughs> I'll go along. I'm not drunk yet. You haven't made me roll a constitution. You haven't made me roll! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fair. I think at this rate, I should get a freaking bonus in constitution. I'm not gonna lie to you. But how and much I'm lightly I'm sipping. That's a lie. My character feels naked, so he's kind of half chugging. Well, who left? That was Adam. Oh. Uh, Adam. What? Is... Oh. what? <laughs> let me just let me just uh put him back. I have in an fraction in here, so it kicked. Well, yeah, it's fine. I put you back. Okay. It's 
because you're in the bed. Oh, I legitimately don't have anything I could say here. I'm not in the, the, the thing. Yeah, I know. Oh, then why are you saying it's because you're in the bed? It's <clears throat> because it's flagging you as uh, not on your computer. Yeah, because I'm not on my computer. That's what I'm saying! Okay, Hi. then. Okay, so you go, you guys go upstairs. Um, and you go to room 7. Um, you, you, it's fine. You're fine. Uh, do you knock on the door? Yeah. Um, so you knock on the door, and you hear a sweet, melodical voice. And she says, give me a minute. All right. And you hear some rustling. And some more rustling. And then you hear, ah, oh, shit. A crash. And then a few, like a minute of silence. I'm gonna open the door. To make sure she's not dead. I, I am going to stop you. <laughs> Why? It's rude. It's a minute of silence, she's dead. <laughs> You obviously have never dealt with women. <laughs> it must be so sad for you. <laughs> Lauren just chuckles. Yeah, totally not ever. <laughs> so I didn't say girls. I said women. Um, as you guys are arguing, the door swings open, and you see a, a beautiful dark elf. Um, in a uh, what? passes as not lingerie nightgown. Okay. Um, and she says, I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't expecting any visitors. Um, can I help you? Letter. You're not a falconeer. Hmm? You're not a falconeer, though. They asked me to deliver it. Odd. In exchange for a helpful thing. You, but you have a falcon. <laughs> I, I, I summon N Nalia, and I'm like, not really a falcon, but will a raven do? Oh. Uh. How beautiful. Uh, uh, thank you for the letter. Uh, she takes it, and, and she... She kind of reads it over, and she goes, "Um, do I need to pay you, or I, I, I'm not sure how this works." I don't. Vice so. will say yes. No, you're not there, are you? Am I? I uh, didn't say I think you were you going to stay downstairs. <clears throat> oh, all right. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know. I don't do deliveries like this very often. I'm a monster hunter, not a courier. A monster hunter? Oh, I I've never seen one before. You're not as scary as I thought they would be. How old are you? Um, uh, in Dark Elf years, I am 120. Okay. She's not very old. <laughs> Older than me. Not, uh, monster hunters aren't all scary. In fact, a lot of them are pretty nice. Uh, You'd be surprised how many of them are just prisses. Most what of the time, that to mean? the matron has to kick them out because they get too rowdy. Yeah. Oh, what, so, so he's here and I'm not? Axel said he was going. Axel said he was going upstairs. Man, this is bullshit. I could have got some money. The bread. No, a large would have stopped you. Well, we tried to anyway. Would have been too convincing for you to stop. Um. Thank you so much for the letter, Sir Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. Uh. Aloran. Uh, Aloran. Um. I, I hope that you have a blessed day. That's what they say here, right? 
something. Uh, take it easy. Thank you. Try not to die. Have a good day. Bye. She she waves to you guys and then she closes the door and after she closes the door she immediately trips and you hear her fall and go, God damn it! She reminds me of someone that I can't quite put my finger on. What are we talking about? Shut up. Hmm? I don't know, because I can't quite put my finger on who she reminds me Shut of. Shut up. <clears throat> Shut up. Anyways, um, so while you guys are doing all of that, it's time to explain what happened to Siegfried. Oh, <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> um, uh -huh. Here we go. Adam got a five, and I rolled a one for a vent. Hey, 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 hey. Um, it wouldn't have been so bad if I had rolled higher than him. Because then virtually nothing would have happened, but I rolled a one. Which means something funny is gonna happen. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna split off from the party and you're gonna find a fishing stall. And then you're gonna find another fishing stall. And you're gonna go to every single fucking fishing stall. And by the end of it, you're gonna find yourself down a goddamn seedy uh, alleyway down some stairs, through this back alley, and you're gonna find this guy. And he's gonna be selling quote-unquote fish. And he's gonna say to you, hey, kid, I got some, uh, fish. Uh, you, uh, you wanna see my stock? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. You uh, you got any seals on you? Seals? Yeah, you like a a guild member? Uh, no. Ah. Perfect. I like doing business with non-guild members, you see. So, uh, why don't you, uh, come, come with me and, uh, I'll show you my, uh, goods. So okay. He, he, uh, he takes you down into the sewers. And you end up coming across the goddamn black market. Well, they're not selling fish. So where's the fish? <clears throat> he looks at you and he goes, Well, uh... Uh... <laughs> 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 He's got one thing on the mind. He goes, well, um, uh, I got some, uh, pretty good, uh, what you call crystal meth. <laughs> what? Wait, there's just straight up crystal <laughs> meth. In that. In is that type, is that type of fish? Here. He's like, I got some crystal meth, bitch. <laughs> Uh, insert magical Jesus fucking Christ. drug here. He he goes ahead and comes to like this pop up stall. He presses a, a fucking a few buttons, grot. and uh, it just is little baggies of fucking drugs. The blue. It's different colors, and and he goes, ah, this is uh my fish. Those are some very weird looking fish. Now remember, that's the one thing you can do is eat all you, of them. Uh, you ain't heard it from me, but I got the best deal in town. I'm guessing the fish is chopped up. 
well, um, yeah, I, I sell it in uh, small, medium, and large. I'll take all of it. <laughs> no. Here's fish. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> <laughs> now, now hold up, hold up, homie. I can't sell you all of it. Ah. Uh, how much? Uh, how much monies you got? Uh. Like. Uh. uh, uh actually, he just made a hundred gold. Yeah, I got 153 oh. gold. Big spender, big spender. I could sell you a uh, a uh, small bag of what I call Wee Jass's laugh for uh, 100. What? That's a hundred. That's a funny name for a fish, but I'll take it. hands you a bag a small bag um i'm a, a preface this it's uh 2 ounces of green and blue powder um and uh he says now nah, i know what you know what to do with this it's strong stuff Knock yourself out. And he, uh, he holds the powder in one hand and he reaches out his hand for the gold. I give him the gold oh, and take the pouch. Alright. <laughs> he gives you the pouch. Can, can I also say I spent like 50 gold on other fish from the stalls and just ate them instantly? Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright. Just eating raw fish. Yep. Yep. That's what he does. All right. That is literally what he does. So I just take the pouch and I just shove it all down my mouth. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> We're god. never gonna see Siegfried ever again. But is it it doesn't isn't he well, does this is he protected against this? Oh my god, he is. I I do it in front of the guy. The guy literally looks at you and goes, Wait, no! Oh, oh my god, you're a dead man walking. That was some funny tasting fish, but I didn't mind it. Wait, you literally thought that was fish? <laughs> what? Wasn't it? Those are drugs, man! <laughs> I knew something was different about them. Just couldn't put my mind on it. Oh. If I knew you were just gonna eat them, I would have never sold them to you. They're meant to be enjoyed. Not just eaten like a ravager. Man, get I, the fuck out of here. I, uh, I don't need your business. Oh, I gave you my money. I don't care. I'm not giving you a refund. Get the fuck out of here. I'm glad I ripped you off. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm a gangster, but I got class. Jesus, jeans. And uh, he he kind of like presses some other buttons, and his his pop up stall just unpops. Deep pop ups, yeah. Deep pop ups. And uh, he puts it, it on his down. back, and he he fucking walks away. And, and in the sewer. Yeah. Okay. And now you're in the other city, all by yourself. Can I send Nalia to find and retrieve him? How are you gonna find him? I don't know. She's a fucking bird. When you I'm... yourself don't even know how to get down here. Mm -mm. She's a celestial being. I'm sure she can figure it out. <laughs> Do I know the same one else down there besides him? Uh, Yeah, there's a whole bunch of shady characters here. Can I ask one of the shady characters, hey, do you know the way out of here? They look at you 
and they go, yeah, sure, you uh, got some money? Uh, no. Well, it seems like you're shit out of luck, bud. Huh. Uh, I go ask the next person. They say <laughs> essentially the same thing. Just keep mm -hmm. doing it until somebody gets annoyed enough that you that they actually get you out of there. No, I'm just gonna follow a path and uh, see where it leads me. And we never saw him again. Uh, uh fucking, I don't know. Roll me in a <laughs> uh, fucking investigation check. Investigation. Maybe by the luck of the gods, you'll fucking get out. I got nine. Uh, no. You're still stuck down there. Ah, he's just gonna keep walking. Uh, he doesn't know what else to do. <laughs> uh, the guy who was supposed to bring him out left him down there. <laughs> He didn't say anything about getting you out of there. You were the dumbass that followed him and didn't think to backtrack. Siegfried often doesn't think. This is in the uh, news. Can I roll something? Uh, do I did I recognize Miss Midnight like at all? Uh no, she's she, she's a new person. You when you were last here, she was not here. Okay. okay. Um. So uh. What about me? And uh, no, she was not here last last time either. Uh, I'll tell you right now, she is new to the city, new-ish to the city. Um, and as a matter of fact, upon further investigation, there aren't very many dark elves here, if any at all. Um, so that is it for Siegfried. Um, he can keep on. You can keep on trying to roll me investigation checks every so often, and I'll let you know. Okay. Um, but what is your guys' next trip? Next step? Yeah. Do we want to try and find yeah. Siegfried? I think we should try to find a place for the night. Well, I was I was planning on just bunking here for the night. <laughs> If there's any rooms open. For you guys? <laughs> jo Joey, you'll, you'll soon find out a lot of the party doesn't give a shit about the other party members. Alright. It is not <laughs> a Lauren's job to babysit Siegfried. You know it's what? Job to babysit it's not, it doesn't need to be a babysit thing. That's not the point. He you babysat know, Arnold. Arnold is... disappeared. He doesn't want to babysit anybody. My My is supplies too. are low. Uh, he's going to go out and look to get more supplies and try to find Siegfried along the way. <laughs> I'll go with you. Hey, you have money now. I'm, I'm, I'm following the dragon. So you have fun. I'm going out to get some supplies to see if I can buy some more rations and stuff. Alright. I'll go with you and I'll just ask if anybody has been as seeing somebody who is kind of obsessed with fish. <laughs> so do it uh do an investigation check for me, please. Oh, that's right. That would be a sixteen. I was gonna kinda of skulk around and follow if thieves can't, I guess. Um surprisingly, they don't use thieves can't here. Hmm. Undercommon? Um, that would be correct. Uh, uh, so, um, 
Avroth, you do go ahead and talk to some of the merchants, and um, they kind of give you a perfect trail of where Siegfried has been, including all the way down to this mysterious uh, alleyway that he went down and ended up just disappearing to. Am I still with the other people? I'm all follow along because I'm kind of looking for Siegfried as well as trying to find jobs. All right. Do we want to continue down this way? Uh, can I do an investigation check on this area that we're at? Um. Yes, you may. Bren, are you also with us? I'll split off from them. Being, kinda... being a being a person that deals with drugs themselves, would that give me any advantage on this? Yes, that gives you an advantage. Deal with check. drugs. I would like to look for thieves. Can't. Um. Use. Once again, I will tell you there is no thieves. Can't in the area. Uh, they use a a natural script. twenty. Um. This is what you would call. Um, a, uh, catcher's, a catcher's den. Um, this is where somebody, uh, would catch somebody unaware and persuade them to buy drugs. Vice is just like, oh, jeez. <laughs> what, what happened? What? All I gotta say is we gotta find this guy quick <laughs> before he does something real stupid. Oh god, I, we just gave will... him money, didn't we? Yes, we did. We gave him a lot of money. Uh... gold is that much money. It's a good amount of money. To Vice, it's a lot of money. You have no idea. I'll walk into the alley then. I would like to, um, what I want to do. Uh, but yes, the thieves can't that would be around here is actually in Undercommon. Hey, while they're thieves, doing that, thieves can't can isn't that. in common. Um, it's no. its own language. Yeah, there isn't know, an Undercommon but, thieves can't. But I'm I'm saying that it's not thieves can't. Okay. Cool. I, I, want to roll, I want to roll perception. Um, hold on. One thing at a time. What did you say, Adam? I was going to say, Siegfried got bored and he decided to whip out his fishing rod in the sewer. You're going to fish um, in the sewer? Uh, yeah. Uh, Poopy fish. Okay. The fishing um, rod of one does allow us fishing. Anyway. <laughs> It, it does. Oh, yeah. Good it lord. really does. Um, Bren, why are you, what are you rolling? I said, I, I said I speak under common. Um, <laughs> it's all... You remember the thing that we talked about? Which one? We talked about a lot of things. Um, some of the uh, un unwanted warehouses. Mm -hmm. Uh, this particular one is a guide to said warehouse. Mm. Um, it it just says uh, District One Warehouse. Oh, uh, and it gives directions to said warehouse. I'll sneakily investigate it, but I'm not going to enter it. Like, peek in through the door, not open door or open window. Uh, it's heavily guarded. Do you want me to roll a stealth? Uh, I would when we get there. Um, okay. But, Axel, what did you want to do? Perception. Perception? Would, uh, sure, what are you looking for? Anything that I should be wary of. 
There's but I guess I'll just rely on my passive. Sketchy people around here. I want to blend in. Uh, I want stealth. Stealth? Okay. Right. Twenty-two. Yeah, that make that lets you uh, blend in quite well. Um, so do an investigation for me, guys. All of us? For the people that are looking for Siegfried. Oh. I got a six. I got a 16 again. I mean, my character's attitude is Siegfried does this shit all the time. He'll show back up with some crazy tale about how he became king of the small people. Vice has a pretty good idea of what happened. Uh, so, um, Axel and Avroth, you find the entrance to the underground. Um, it's cleverly hidden but not so cleverly hidden uh, that it was kind of in your face hidden <laughs> uh, so you, clever so you go ahead and go down exactly as I described sewer systems um, and wouldn't you know it Siegfried is right there Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, guys. Where'd you go? How was the uh, fish? Ah, uh, there was good fish. I liked all the fish, except for the last fish. The last fish didn't taste really fishy. What did that last fish look like? Uh, Siegfried describes the dusty powder stuff. Do I know what that is? Yeah, you know what that is. You've probably Pretty made sure it before. Vice would know what it is. Yeah, Vice knows what it is. Uh, you, uh, Axel knows what it is. Axel knows how to make it. <laughs> Shit! Good I could have. How much I money could've... did you give him? Uh. Uh, what I had? How much did you had? So it ranged somewhere between, I think it was like, uh, uh, 100 to 200. Good lord. Lord, I could make bank here! <laughs> oh, uh, what, you, wait, how much, how, how much did you get and eat? Uh... About this much. And he shows you a baggie that is two ounces. I, uh, I would like to roll history to see if my character remembers that Siegfried is usually immune to poisons <laughs> and toxins. <laughs> roll. Roll. Thirteen. Um, you remember that he is immune to poison? Um, you're not quite sure if drugs apply. Uh, how long ago was this? I'd imagine if he's immune to poison, die from an overdose. Uh, Some 20 minutes poison. ago. Would he be showing signs by now? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Do I need to heal him? He's fine. What a heal. waste. Heal him. Heal him. Heal him. Heal him. Do it. Don't. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, if you feel that it's that Siegfried, do you feel like you need some? Wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't. No. Never mind. He's fine. Do it. 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 Do I'll do. I'll do five. Face. Um. Uh, Siegfried, you take five points of damage. Ow! Why did you attack me? I didn't. I just tried to heal you. 
Oh, it hurt! Don't do it again! <laughs> I'm going to oh, look uh, at... I'm going to look at you, look at my hand, look at you, look at my hand. What? What? <laughs> I'm gonna smack him upside the head with a chill touch. <laughs> Thank <Dumbass>. you. <laughs> wait, wait, who? Wait, who? Who? Zigfried. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, uh, I would like to use my craft alchemical potions to study the uh, what was it? We Joss something. I mean, there's there's a little bit of dust. It's We Joss's laughter. We Jass's laughter. I want. I'm trying to assess quality of We Jass's laughter. Oh, this stuff is crap. All uh, right. Do a do a do a check for me. But just from the smell alone, <laughs> this stuff is low grade. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, this guy, uh, whoever fucking made this, is an amateur. Hey, Vice, you're an underworld person, right? I'm gonna pass him the bag. How good a quality would you say this is? I'm assuming that Vice would immediately know just by looking at the bag. Uh, the bag alone tells you that this person is poor. And that he is, uh... <clears throat> the man, business-wise, is a shark. He goes ahead and does this crap. Goes to the upside, gets fucking uh, drunk people and or uh, uh, you know like piddle people. This guy's garbage, but he's smart garbage. Do we want to? Do we him need down? to get money back? Kind of want to hunt him down just for daring to make such an inferior drug in the name of We Jazz. I mean, really. That'd be really, that'd be a really fun side quest. <laughs> Wait, you guys could get my money back. I, I suppose we could do that too. Uh, I mean, he gave me some really, else he gave me some really rotten fish, so. It was, it wasn't fish. He was lying to you. Well, that makes it even worse. He mm. Who lies about fish? Well, Vice says there's no honor amongst thieves. Let's go find him. Yeah. What do you look like? Well, so, we're gonna go find him. Siegfried, would you like me? Would you like to roll me a history check, please? Hold on, let me get my phone. Hmm. Uh, history. I'm all in low today. Thirteen. Uh, so you remember in which kind of direction it, uh he went in, but you also remember what he looked like. Um, and so you could pick him out very easily. Um, and you also told them that uh he has a pop up stall. Okay. So I know which way he went. We should follow that. Follow me, I mean. I lead the way. Let's go. Lead the way. Let's go. Investi Adventure. Investigation. Or what? Investigation. Should just be called adventure at this point. Adventure. <laughs> wow, I got a nat two. I got a two. A nat two. Nat two. Everyone. What do you want me to roll? Ad investigation. <laughs> investigation. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. I'll give it to you. A uh, ten. I won't give it to you. Come on, Axel. Roll me something good. I I did. I got you a fourteen. Oh. I wasn't paying attention, apparently. Um, Axel and Vice, according to um, Siegfried's expert description, um, you found uh, the guy. It took you about half an hour uh, in these sprawling caverns, but it seems like he doesn't move very far from his hunting grounds. So you find That's him. even dumber! 
<laughs> I didn't say he was smart. Uh, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. I mean, to be fair, he probably thought Siegfried was dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty much. Uh, so you you see him. He is conning another person, a pretty lady this time. A pretty lady you might recognize. I, I'm going to go up behind him and kind of put my hand on his shoulder and be like, Hello, we need to have a chat. Uh, I'd like to roll to know if I know this lady. Or do I need to? I want. Do I know this lady? Yes, you do. What was her name again? Miss Midnight. Oh! It's Midnight. Miss Midnight. Lady Midnight. La Lady Midnight. I shriek out and come running up to her. Uh, she looks very stunned. Um, and this time she is in, um, a beautiful purple dress. She is what? very surprised by that someone is calling for her, and she looks around and she sees you, and she goes, "Oh, the monster hunter." Not I. That was the the friend. This low life. I want to grab the guy as he's trying to slink away. Oh, I've already put my oh. hand on his shoulder and told him we need to have a chat. It is entirely coincidental to meet you here. I hope you're having a good day. We need a word with this uh individual. Oh, this, he was this... trying to sell me some fish. It's drugs. He was trying to sell you drugs. Oh. I can make you better drugs. I don't want it in my drugs. sleep. <laughs> one handed. I want fish. Hey, Siegfried. Why don't you and the lovely lady go to the marketplace and get some fish? While me, Vice, and Avaroth have a little discussion with our friend here. I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she looks over at Siegfried and she goes, I can buy you some fish. I just got paid oh, today. Fish. Okay, let's go. <laughs> have fun. Uh, keep an eye on him. He doesn't have fun. Oh, it's okay. I'm not allowed to stray very far from the tavern. <laughs> See you there yeah, later this are. evening. Oh, good lord. There's two of them now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure our way out. Uh, uh, Come on, Siegfried, I wanted to beat him. him. I wanted to beat him up, but now I need to baby. Vice. <laughs> Vice. 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 Uh, that's. I want to look over at the guy and walk up to him. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet. I heard that you recently got some payday for selling some bad goods. We're here to collect. Oh, he, uh, he looks at you and goes, Hey, what I sell is fair and square. That's how it is under here. Well, sometimes Good. life ain't always fair. Gonna come up. Yeah, life ain't fair. I can make better shit in my sleep with my hands to hide behind my back. Now, Vice, can you uh, give him a whack for me? I gotta go keep an eye on Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and I'm gonna go after uh, Siegfried at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I wanna say, Avroth, do me a favor and grab this guy. Uh, he's already. Grabbed. I will. Yeah. I you got to grab. Literally. So, yeah, he I'm came up behind that. and and uh he's already been grabbed. Yeah, I've I've got this guy I'm, pretty much by his neck. Uh, I'm not squeezing, but taller by uh, the way. Avros can you even yeah. roll me. My my natural height is 67. So Is that how tall your humanoid form is? I kept the same height and like pretty much everything oh. of my thing. I just changed to look like a lizard man. Okay. So um, I'm probably still huge. Can you roll me a strength check, please? Uh, yes. And a moment. Hmm. Wow. 
What the fuck? I rolled an eight, and that's with my plus five. <laughs> I rolled a nat three. Um, he's kind of wiggling in your arms. Uh, he has a little bit of wiggle room, but not much. Oh, I didn't want to kill the guy. Yet. 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 Are you a paladin? I am. But, uh, the, uh, dragon paladins are a little bit different. I, I can be good and evil, both sides of the coin. I get that. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be completely, uh... Well, I actually have to, I have to maintain the balance of good and evil. That is kind of the point. Yes. We had this conversation. It was great. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you, yeah, you have him held. He's he's firm, but not too firm. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll let you ask him with uh, with my up, with uh, my gauntlet hand on his upper forearm. Um, can I cast spells as non-lethal? I think you can cast cantrips as non-lethal. Because I'd like to use Firebolt to, to like, heat up my gauntlet a bit. And do some damage to him while I'm holding on to him. Oh. Might that just be prestidigitation? Mm, can't do damage with prestidigitation, though. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can. Uh, and I'd like to do an intimidation check. You get advantage. Ah, thank you. I like it. Uh, 20. Unnatural. He is thoroughly shaken in his uh, pop-up tent. <laughs> now we're going to take the money that you owe that man over there, and then we're going to be on our way. You understand? Uh, he nods. Uh, I'm going to search him for whatever money he's got. He has 350 gold on him. Um, I'm going to take 300 gold from him. And a little bit of a finder's fee for myself. <laughs> he says, come on. I earned that. Well, guess what? I just earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. I mean, we could just take it all. On, Give him man. a little bit of something. I need something. Oh, I, I said that out loud. <laughs> What are we, thieves? We're only taking what we need. At least tell me one thing. You're not guildies, are you? I'm not even from this place. So, no. I think that's none of your business. I try and scare him more by saying no, but you know him. Well, we don't need to scare him more. We already took all his fucking money. He's I don't even about to piss scare him out of scare him out of selling bad shit. Make him get better, do better. I uh, I'm actually going to transform into my regular self, and then look him in the eye and give him an intimidation check and be like, and never mess with any of my friends again. Ooh, ooh! You could even you you could even show him your true dragon eye. Link can show it. Uh, you can with that with the earring. I I might exaggerate my size a little bit and everything like that just to make myself even more huge. Uh, roll intimidation with advantage. It's a nice earring. It is. Let's see. Oh nope. One moment. And intimidation. 
And, oh, nat 20. Oh my god. I, that, that was on my yeah. first roll. That was on my first roll. I didn't I, even I, roll I, I the don't advantage. Think you, you fucking need to roll a second time. That, that fucking advantage lets you fish for the crit. And that was a crit. crit. And I got the crit first roll. Um. Alright, so... Double crit. Uh, you do that, and he fucking pees his pants and faints. I'll just leave him there. But, like, I'll, I'll, since I've been holding him up, I'll just let him crumple. <laughs> Gross. Uh, he, he is but a feeble little human being. He is not much to scoff at. Yeah. Leave him be. I'll, uh, I'm gonna give Avroth a hundred of the gold. Oh, thank you. And then I'm gonna go meet back up with Siegfried and give him a hundred gold. Yay, Siegfried, you got your money back. Need some of it. I got money back. Well, he spent 50 of it on just regular fish. Yeah, but then he spent another 150 on the... Yeah. On useless crap. Mm. I told you. Shenanigans! The roll of the dice. Uh, Lauren, how drunk are you? I don't know. Shall we check? Yeah, roll a constitution saving throw with disadvantage for me. If you have to damage it, blasters. I got the same roll twice. 23. Alright, you are probably like a little bit squiffy. 20 drinks Pleas in. Pleasantly buzzed. Pleasantly drunk. Pleasant pleasantly buzzed. I've buzzed. been I've been out drinking everyone in the tavern. And it's not even nighttime yet. Which means there's one other person who's like doesn't know what alcohol is, and it took two drinks <laughs> to drink them under. Oh, we, we haven't is. tested to see. We haven't tested to see how Avroth does with alcohol. No, we have not. Does Avroth <laughs> even drink alcohol? I mean, I'm yeah. I probably well. I don't see why I he wouldn't. He drinks the blood of Jesus. He drinks the oh no. He drinks the blood of uh, Dragon Jesus. <laughs> I drink the blood of of Lizard Man. Well, that's something different. Uh, that is illegal. Don't want to. You don't want to bleed that lizard. That is very much illegal. Uh. So you guys make it out. You're fine. You're good. It's a, it's it's becoming night-ish time. I'll arrive back just to did, see a Lauren surrounded with did, bugs. Did I have fun with my new fish friend? Um, yes. Uh, Midnight thinks that you are absolutely adorable. Um. And that you are just the funniest thing she has ever seen. Oh, hey. Midnight is Ada. What? So Midnight, so, so Midnight is Ada then. Oh, now <laughs> you get it. No, I got it before. <laughs> I just, I'm just not fully stating it. Oh, is this your self insert, Ada? No. Hey, Ada. What? I'll turn myself back into my regular. Uh, uh, lizard man appearance. All right. Pretty you much after look, it. You, you, you could look human. I know. Or a gnome. But why on earth would I want to look human or you a could gnome? Be a six foot seven gnome. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably yeah. be even more uh, concerning. <laughs> uh, she thinks that all of you guys are uh, absolutely. Uh, fun to hang out with, and she hopes that she can do it again. Um, also, you are able to go ahead and get your supplies, uh, Vice, but we will do it after. Also, will <clears throat> Avroth go shopping, too? Uh, I don't think that there's anything that I need to buy just at this moment. I mean, you can buy rations from Siegfried. Uh, he gave me, uh, 20. 
Oh, yeah. uh, how many did I use up while we were going here, though? Uh, you guys need to take four away um, while you guys are traveling. Um, uh, so you guys return back to the tavern, um, because, uh, uh, Zanir is so gracious and happy to have you guys back here, uh, she is giving you a discount for the night, um, and she says you can either work for her um, to have your night stay, um, or you can pay, uh, two copper each for this day. I'll just work for her. I feel I'll like that's... Work. What yep. kind of work? Uh, bartending, so, uh, either mixing drinks, cleaning tables, uh, or... Oh, I mix amazing drinks. I'm on, dr I'm on bar duty. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Says the tainted I, uh... guy with the infinite... Bottle of booze. Yeah, I have uh, uh the the thing, the amphora, so I can make whatever booze I want for free. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. How do you guys keep forgetting so about these I. cool items? That you that you guys keep on getting. Um. Also, like, we have to... don't forget. Uh, Infinite uh, chocolate count. Count oh, chocolate. I know. I'm, I know about that one. I don't know what to do with it. I remember y'all used that for hijinks in my freaking one. Yes, and it was time. funny. It was ridiculous. Um, uh, there's also, um, she says specifically to Avroth that um, you can be an honorary bouncer for the night. Oh, that sounds excellent. Um... Hopefully you're not going to have to bounce Aloran. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says that if Aloran gets too rowdy, you have every um, right and responsibility to send him to the stable. <clears throat> Copy that. Hey, I think you forgot about something, though. What? What was I doing? Oh yeah, you were doing the <laughs> fucking thing. I don't wanna. Do what I were you have doing? To? Mm, I mean, not really technically, but yeah. you're, the one you're the one that set it up. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Okay, what were you doing? Tell me again. Just looking around, looking through windows and sneaking through, not entering the building. Stealth check. Yeah. Unless I roll a one, I don't think I'll fail. Uh, you see things. Unpleasant things. Mm. I think you know what things you see. Mm. The things we talked about yesterday? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> um, on top of that, uh... You do a perception check for me, please. That would been worse. 14. That's not that bad. Um, you do see um, a specific seal. Not that you can actually remember. You have seen it before. Um, not that you know what guild it is a part of. Um, can I... Redraw it into a, a notebook. It's not real quick. Yeah, you can redraw it in your notebook. Um, and when you get back, you could probably ask a Lauren if he recognizes the seal, or if you can figure out where it goes. Okay. If he's not drunk enough. Actually, Lauren's gonna stop drinking. Lauren's gonna stop drinking finally. He's gonna stop drinking. Wow. He's, he's, 
He's after glass twenty. He's thirty two drinks in. He's done. thirty two. <laughs> thirty two. He's not in. even. He's not even all the way drunk either. He's just chilling. He's just delightfully buzzed, and he's finally done. Wow, we've finally done it, guys. <laughs> Alcoholism is no more. <laughs> we broke him. Yay. Um, I would like. To roll to see how awesome of drinks I make tonight for everyone. Uh, Maybe bring in <laughs> the, in some extra uh, clientele. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Roll your oh, craft. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, shit. Uh, Nat one? <laughs> Nat one. Oh, uh -huh. no. I'm just glad I'm not there for it. Uh... <laughs> So you start to go ahead and make some test drinks. Holy cow. And um the matron she takes one of the drinks as she looks at you as she goes, "You bartender? What kind of crap is this?" as she throws the drink on ground and she goes, "You're fired." <laughs> make me another. Okay. Can I try drink? Can I try making a drink? Uh, this is before <laughs> before you guys start. Before the night even starts. I'm gonna hang my head, and I guess I'll wait tables. No, she wants you to try again. Oh. You fired. Do it again. You're this fired. Make it better. again. <laughs> Do it again. This time better. You're fired. Make it again. How about 20? Or 19, sorry. Uh, that is much better. You make her the same drink that you're... Now that I'm familiar with the bottles. But this but time not. you actually add the alcohol. Uh, but this time there's... Yeah, this time there's actually alcohol in it. And she goes, See? You good. Have confidence. And she pats you really hard on the back. <laughs> We don't serve virgin drinks here. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as virgins. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's like it's like a lord probably has something to look up to. A lord's not a virgin. What? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. So, uh, Aloran, yeah, if you want to be a bartender, go for it. Lauren's gonna be drunk and trying to do bartending. Oh no. Um. Oh no. They're not drunk, but buzzed. Like to roll me a. I don't know. What would you roll to try and make drinks? Medicine. 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 Survival. Medicine? I feel like survival's better. Survival. Yeah. It's the survival. same. Same thing, more or less. Yeah. Survival. Or sleight of survival. hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight yeah, of hand to give them the too. drinks that I, I make. Have 27. Um, yeah. She says, you do a good job. I make I make the drink and then I drink it myself. <laughs> Don't drink the drink. You're not allowed to be bartender. I'll do it. I'll make more. Don't worry. Monkey, watch him. I I am not a monkey right now. She doesn't care. That's how you introduced yourself. She doesn't. She, she, she doesn't she care likes for names. Lord. She likes a lord. She doesn't she? care for names. This is this is how she remembers everyone. Is how they introduce themselves. <laughs> what does she call me? Big one. Big one. Oh, okay. Wait, why am I wanted to here? introduce himself as small one, or whatever she calls him. Uh, That's what uh, he was when she they first met. Yeah, because Alorn was small. Alorn is a small one. Uh, you are punch face because the first time she met you, you were invisible and thought that you, she couldn't see you. <laughs> and so she punched him in the face. And so she punched you in the face. Do bartenders get tips? Yeah. Excellent. I'm. I want to com com compete 
with Axel to see who makes better drinks and therefore better <laughs> tips. Let's have a little competition. Have a little friendly competition. Little uh, friendly Siegfried, competition. are you going to? Uh... Siegfried is uh, pooped from the day and he wants to go rest. You mean the effects of the drugs? No. <laughs> I'm no, being he's facetious. just tired. He's just tired. That's well, it. technically, if he was doing math, he would actually be wired, not tired. So, yeah, so... I guess that makes sense. Uh, he ate a lot. He ate too much, <laughs> therefore his stomach has expanded in size. Drugs. Oh, how can you how can you make a, a black hole bigger? <laughs> you can add more mass. Magic you can man. It. I don't understand how regular black holes get bigger. Well, they just it's just matter but, gets more and more matter Paul. gets sucked inside of it, and the force of gravity gets more and more powerful, and so the light is sucked in from a farther well, distance. With, essentially. Hey Paul, with my research yeah. usually inserting something into it does. I was going to say the same way that white <laughs> holes get bigger. Black men? Oh, uh, anyways, let's continue, please. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know that has stopped responding. Um, uh, magic. Yep. Bren, are you doing anything to work, or are you going to pay the two silver? I thought it was two, two copper. copper. Two copper. Two silver. You said two copper. Did I say two copper? Oh, Lauren. Oh, Lauren, are you we going to compete? Yeah, we're competing. Yeah, let's do this. What? I All thought right. I said two silver. You might know no. You might know how to craft potions, but nobody knows alcohol yeah, better than copper. me. I said copper? You said copper. You 100% did. You did say copper. Huh? Yep. You might have meant silver, though. If you meant silver, then go with silver. I meant silver. Silver would make much more sense. I meant silver. Yeah, these are cheap-ass rooms. What do we gotta work for? <laughs> two copper? <laughs> nah, two, it's two silver. I meant I'll silver. Just, I'll just take the room and kinda... Paid a fraction of a minimum wage just to work the bar. <laughs> I'll just take the, the room. And kind of... a Lord, the difference is, is a, I feel like a Lauren and Axel are having fun. Yeah, we're 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 building up the mood. Oh, uh, I don't. I, I, Lauren, I want to borrow your mask while I'm doing this. Yeah, go right on ahead. And I have fun as, you, as he hands it to you, you notice there's like cracks in it that like you never noticed before. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and worry about that later. Wait. Now us mixologists are going to get to work. Uh, Vice, are you working or no? Yeah, I'm pouring drinks infinite, infinitely. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's just pouring straight up alcohol. <laughs> He's just going around with clear, just pouring it into people's glasses. <laughs> God, <laughs> I think 100 percent alcohol would burn more than anything. <laughs> yeah, it definitely would. Uh... <laughs> He's just topping up glasses. With Going around with yeah, the I feel like Avaroff can handle it, though, because he breathes straight up fucking acid, right? He can handle straight up alcohol. Oh, heck I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm pouring, I'm pouring uh, Nobish Moonshine. Uh, did Everybody's ever... getting fogged. I oh. can just see Vice standing there like like a statue holding the, the amphitheater, just pouring it out into a bowl. <laughs> Making punch. <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> strawberry punch. <laughs> strawberry punch. It's not as good as the strawberry ale, I swear. Don't drink the Kool Aid. Oh yeah. Um, and in this tavern, uh, there is um a spot uh where you see a stage, um, and that is where. Our lovely Midnight is performing. Aww. Yeah. Can can I roll performance to help go along with it and ramp up and get the crowd excited with with uh, Aloran, me and Aloran working together? Let's let's do a performance, Aloran. 
uh, sure, why are not? Are you guys gonna be one of those performing mixologists? Absolutely. I'll make a oh, I'll tipsy my bartender. Gosh. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Look, can I can I make a deal here? Okay. Can I make it sleight of hand instead of performance, since it's more like Ooh. a dex dexterous? You're type right. Thing. That is true. <laughs> uh, all right. Fine. You're making rainbow shots. Fucking. Hell yeah. Jesus. <laughs> all right. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. You guys are having a great night. Uh, are we are we bringing more people into the inn? Yes. Awesome. You guys are having wonderful time. You bring bring more people into the inn. You bring in more, just more into the inn. Um, this inn is non magical. Um, but you realize that as more people start to come in, uh, the the more almost magical energy starts to flow. Um, you don't know where it's coming from, but it is a thing that is happening. Can I track the source of this while they're in, like in the background while everyone's having fun? Roll yeah. Arcana. Fuck! It was almost a twenty. No. But it's a good vibe. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be investigation over in Karna, but? You're trying to figure out. You're trying to sense a magic. magical aura. Magic. Unless you have like a natural like magic sight or something like that. I don't. That's the game. It makes you feel happy. Everyone is having a great time. It's I'd like a lot to of fun. take a drink. I'd like to take a drink to Miss Midnight. She's on stage. Uh. She takes it and uh, she gives you a high five. Uh, can I have made it? Uh, Aloran, would you have wanted to take her one you made yourself? Yeah. Okay, then never mind. Same. Why? I was going to offer to try and make a special one. A special one? What do you mean? I don't know, just super awesome. Simp. Like a, like, like a. Like one with a magic. Do we effect. work together? Do we work together on it? Sure, why not? <laughs> that, that video in Campfire is Vice right now. <laughs> I'm gonna look at that after. It's a nice um, so there's basically nothing else for tonight that I have planned other than uh you guys sleeping and then that's it, cause it's up to fucking vice. <laughs> up to fucking vice. Yeah. Huh? Can you repeat that? Got to finish decrypting that thing. Yeah. Yes. With the letter. Yeah. I I did. I thought. Yeah. Well, it's up to you. Oh. So... Uh, what's up to me? Repeat it. Uh, it's up to you. It's take the next step. Well, I mean, are we leaving? Uh, no. Uh, but that's all I got for tonight. Um. Wait, who won? Who won the competition? Me or Axel? Oh, that's or a Axel? good question. Um. I think you won because you were getting consecutively, regularly higher. But we could go another like. That's two out of three. Yeah, World Constitution. See who drops down first because you're too tired. Ooh, that's Neither a good of us idea. has a gun. Well, hold on. <laughs> uh, I have a, I have a great idea. I just dropped one of my dice. Hold on. Ah! Found it. In my foot. Um. In my salad, bro. How about? You go ahead and roll me a d20, both of you. Exciting. That's a d20. That's a d20. A d20. A d20. Hmm, that's rough. <laughs> both um, rolled pretty shit. So throughout the night, 
you guys are making drinks, getting tips. Um, Axel and Aloran, you guys decide to go ahead and make drinks for Midnight, Lady Midnight. Um, and uh, you you take turns and everything. And Axel, uh, the first drink that you make for her, um, was all right. She drank a little bit of it. She she performed, and then she ended up spilling the rest of it. <coughs> uh, Aloran, the, the the second drink that you guys made for her, um, she ended up just downing the whole thing <laughs> and then realized it was shit that she was supposed to taste it <laughs> and then asked for a glass of water um do roll it again come on dude oh shit <laughs> Okay, she did not like either of your guys' drinks. What? You got 11, though. It wasn't that bad. I rolled higher. Uh. <laughs> uh, one last time. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm just not doing good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, did Zach make some fucking poison by accident? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I don't like both, that laugh. You both lost tonight. Okay, well that just isn't fair. Um, I rolled a 17 for you, Kenny. That just isn't fair. Uh, she kind of liked the drink, and then she said, Maybe you should, uh... Should focus on like not focus on like the garnishing. Or or she says, maybe a little less alcohol next time. Like like I'm trying to sing, not trying to get drunk. <laughs> um, and then Axel she says I just don't like cranberry juice. <laughs> 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 some, something like that she's like I just don't like orange juice I'm sorry <laughs> so she just hands it back it's a, it's, actually, I can so see Axel handing won? her a purple the vial question here, the question here is who won neither of you uh, come on what, one of us has to win come no. on it's a competition no. we're not no. fighting against you come on come on he needs to hear that he bested me. <laughs> uh, if you're trying to make Midnight happy, neither of you did that. I wasn't you're... trying to. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to. No, uh, uh, if we you're were just completing to, get... to see who made better drinks, if, like, in general. If you're trying to make you better drinks. You know who won? Drinks... It was Vice. Vice won because he got the best moose that round. Uh, if you're trying to make better drinks, I think a Lauren technically won. Yeah. He got the higher rolls. Um Yep. And now uh I guess at the end of the night, after everything is said and done. Well, okay, so here's here's the kicker. Is that all the money goes ahead and gets pulled and uh the matron goes ahead and takes it and she says, You guys earn a very well rested night. Go have some sleep. I will go ahead and get your tips ready for you tomorrow. Exciting. That means awesome. the next time. Yeah, Lauren makes it three steps that. up the stairs, then passes out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Lauren a anti-hangover tonic and take him to bed. Oh yeah. Can we make it like? Candid that Vice is Moonshine one. <laughs> Please no. Vice can think <laughs> that uh, his Moonshine one. I mean, with that one, I'm pretty sure it was better than mine. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. No, I still think that your mixed drinks one. Um, well, how about you let me roll with advantage because I got the Amphora? 
Yeah, he can make, he can one make literal roll. ambrosia. All right, fine. Give me one roll. I got this. Well, where, where, where were you guys rolling? D20. Uh, roll a D20. Just 20. A nat 20, I win. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> because I got the big move, Shadrach. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she did. Uh... uh, uh that's what I was hoping for, honestly. Every everyone absolutely loved Vice's little goddamn no, party trick. Moonshine. moonshine. Party trick. They they loved his little party trick. They loved the little floating gnome that had a goddamn moonshine. And a snake that just went by him. <laughs> all in all, we created an excellent atmosphere. You did, and you never figured out what the fucking uh, glowing thing was. The magic there was a was glowing thing? From. Yeah, there was magic. Magic energy. Magic energy. Oh, well, yeah, but you never said it was glowing. It was. Oh, but can I roll an arcana for that now? I was curiosity. Yeah. Fucking hell. Sorry, water just spilled everywhere. I think a 25 would do it. Thank God I have advantage. Uh, the magic is coming from Moonlight. Midnight. Midnight. Correct. What is she, a bard? Probably. Yes. Who left? No one. Probably Adam again. Got moved. Uh, Midnight is a bard. Um, and some of this magic is celestial. <laughs> oh no. I think I know. I don't care. I think I know what the, that was. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been played bard in a different campaign. That the. <laughs> huh? You want to say that again? Hmm. Huh? Midnight is a, just a perfectly normal bard. <laughs> She I really like her. Retarded, I hope, I hope she's, she's our little retarded. I, I hope she sticks around. I like her. Uh, I'm gonna say, tell you this: that, that word is actually like one of the band words. You yeah, not well, you any. can also get banned for saying "fuck" within two minutes of the video, so I don't think it that's matters true. anymore. Yeah, that's true. Uh, also, not to mention uh, those other videos the other that we have in, that we've posted, where Kenny was a fucking cunt. Sailor. Uh, cunt, 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 cunt. Uh, Can uh, someone post a link to those? I wanted to listen to them, but I couldn't find the link to where we were posting shit. Oh, yeah, because they haven't been posted in, on the server. Uh, anyway. They should be. May I replace Wrap up stuff? Um, yeah, that is all for today. I'm going to end the recording, so we'll go ahead and do our wrap up stuff. Bye!